top of the morning to you. Happy St. Patty's Day, everyone. We have such a great show for you. I forgot to text my mom to tell her to tune in. She does from Tampa from time to time. I hope yeah. you're watching, Mom, because we have the Drake School of Dancers mm -hmm. performing for us. Mm -hmm. We have influencer Katie oh. Ray. I love Katie Ray. Who's a mom of four yes. who just likes to whip all the... I she really be, does. I She's saving be an influencer. the day. I want to be an influencer. She's saving the day with party ideas, uh -huh. festive cocktails, and on that note... Oh, no, cheers! Cheers! Look at these. Aren't these pretty? Aren't they beautiful? Mm -hmm. We're going to tell you how to make it coming up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love that you started the show with a slight accent. Well, I didn't was practice it though? my Irish brogue, so I yes. won't. But um, I didn't even tell you this, but I hope you're available. <laughs> I'm going out of town, apparently. Jim, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, this is a way to t okay. ask for time off. Yeah. Jim has booked us uh -huh. a trip to Ireland. It's like a bucket list trip in... What? It's right around the time of your birthday, August. Perfect. Shouldn't be announcing all that. Anyway, yeah, you got to check your that. schedule. Okay, um, great. But yes, we're going to Ireland for the very first time. He's going to play golf. We're going with I some other couples. Love. It's his bucket list trip, so I'm so excited. That's so fun. I know, yeah. so I'll be able to uh, give you all of the scoop on... Culture, yeah. food, the rolling, I'm not playing beautiful golf. Yes. hills, green hills. I know. I can't wait. Speaking of Ireland, all, all the leprechauns that are there. Yeah. No, I don't know. I just feel like a really bad mom this morning because I got, I woke up to many messages on my WhatsApp from oh, my not the WhatsApp from my oh, lovely. Ladies. I have a fourth grader, a first grader, and a three-year-old, and so I'm on three different classroom WhatsApps, and it's everybody was doing all these things for their kids with the leprechauns, and I was like, Ooh. You're like, huh? I, I didn't <laughs> do like, any what? of it. it made, I it's didn't okay. do any of it. That's why Katie Ray's here. But Katie also, Ray's here for a reason. Then, but as I just got on the air, I was looking, and people were like, what are y'all talking about? There's so that, I think it's half and it's half. It's half and half. Uh -huh. There's that group of moms that you're like, I wish I could be like you, but exactly. I'm not. Exactly. And then there's moms like me. It's such admiration. I need help. Yes. I always tell this story that when I fir my first child was in school, there was this super mom in the class. Yeah. And at first, always. total annoyance with her. I was like, who does this lady think she is? She would bring in the lemon meringue pies with like, a blowtorch for the, the teacher's birthdays. Yes. What? And I, I, what is happening here? Right. I did not know. Then, but then you after, come to admire Oh, it. then I was like, Kelly has to be in my class. If I don't have Kelly, <laughs> right. I will not survive. Exactly. I was like, what, what? You're requesting her yeah, child to I be was. in your class. I was like, I don't care where James is. Where is her daughter? Yes. <laughs> because right. I need to be in her class. Because I need to be. Uh -huh. And those, for those yes. women, anyway, we salute you. We salute you. And, and we love you. And I wouldn't I would be like here to without be you. I'd like to thank you. Take yeah. this opportunity to thank you. Yes. All. But don't okay. worry. You're going to take home that whole spread. Oh. <laughs> Katie's going to let you. Katie's all right. Be, it's all good. No. Okay. All right. Let's get into it. We have some really fun dog stories. I know we love the puppies here. Mm-hmm. ATL and Co. And sure this do. is so sweet. So this is about Sherry. Sherry lives in Seattle. Sherry's scrolling on her phone looking at dogs to adopt. You know, like she wasn't in the mood for it. She wasn't planning. But you know, you get down a wormhole and then all of a sudden yeah. you're looking at dogs. Well, she saw this dog, Harvey, which was a 60 pound husky. Ooh. Harvey, they think maybe was bitten as a puppy. So had like a facial deformality. Um, and so he had this really crooked smile. Oh. But Sherry, fell in love with Harvey. Now I mentioned Sherry lives in not? Seattle. Harvey was in San Diego. That's thousands of miles he away. Sure is. But she said, you know what? I cannot stop thinking about Harvey. So she loaded up her two boys. That's her dog, River. River, her two boys, and Sherry went down to San Diego, rescued, adopted Harvey, and now Harvey is safe Happily in their home. Happily ever after. Isn't that so sweet? Look at that I know. sweet face. You know, this is interesting. So at the shelter, a woman who worked there, Joy, said that nobody, like everybody would come in and look at Harvey, and they'd be. she said that she would even hear people go, ew. <gasps> What is wrong with people? I don't know. You guys. I don't know. We got to do better. And so she, got, well, started, she, did better. she started taking Harvey like to her office and she Good. was like, he's the best dog. And so when Sherry called, she was like, oh, I've been waiting for this moment. You have to get him. He's the best dog. He's so special. And then Sherry said, you know, she wanted to share her story because she wants people to obviously promote adoption yes. for, for dogs and shelters. And she said, I realize this is nuts that I drove. It took I, three I, days to get there. It's not <laughs> nuts when you feel yeah. so compelled I and know. she looked at that picture and it touched her heart and she had to do it. And, and I love so that. much happy. 
happiness. It sure does. All right. They do. um, we're keeping with the dog theme okay. because this is actually, it starts out tragically. Oh, no. But this dog, there was like an old water retention pond, and this dog was wandering around, oh, fell in the ice. Now, they're not sure how it happened because it looked almost mm. like it was frozen over, too, but it was up north in Michigan. The dog falls in the ice, a, a rescue like facility, it, it was at a rescue facility, it got in the ice. So then they called the fire department. The fire department to the rescue, this lieutenant comes out, tries to lure the dog with a treat, gains the dog's trust, then carries this dog from the embankment up. Now, I read a couple articles on this. Some said 10 feet, some said 20 feet. So we're <laughs> going to go with 35 feet. <laughs> Took him up 35 feet to save yes. that dog. Can you believe? No. So sweet. That was incredibly heroic and, I know. and not easy. And just thinking about all the things that he needed to do to, to, right. you know, to lure him out. It's exactly. going to be okay. Carrying heavy He was dog. there in minutes. Muskegon Heights firefighters. And I couldn't find the dog's name, though. No, no, no. Maybe the dog wanted to remain anonymous. <laughs> yes. Uh, I think that was it. <laughs> but yes. he was at Pound Buddies um, Rescue Center. So now he's back safe and sound. Yay. Yeah, I, love I love this. Guys, do you have an all good story yeah. for us? You know, we love to share them each and every day. In fact, Pure gets a ton of them I and so we really have felt like we've been kind of inundated with some of your stories mm -hmm. so please keep them Thank coming you. all you have to do is scan that cute little pink QR code right there mm -hmm. takes you to atlantaandcompany.com and share the love to be featured okay. can you